Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Last night, uh, when I got to the game night that I go to once a month, uh, the TV was on, and they had CNN on, and it was covering those horrible attacks that went on in uh, Paris last night. And uh, we didn't uh, spend the night watching that, because... There's only so much of that any sensible person can take in one sitting, and there was nothing we could do about it. So we continued on with our night as uh, as normal. Uh, the news is all over the place today, uh, which is understandable. And uh, there's a lot of people uh, really hurt and really upset and really angry and uh, really affected by, uh, by what went on uh, last night. And no doubt that what went on is a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, hundreds of people uh, injured and dead across numerous attacks in, in Paris. And it's a tragedy. There, there's no getting around that. It's a tragedy. But I'm seeing in reactions things that worry me even more. I, I'm seeing people calling for actions as bad, if not worse, than what triggered their reactions to begin with. The people who committed these horrible acts did so because they don't respect the lives of their enemies. They think their cause is more important than the people they kill. They think their cause is more important than their own lives. You can't stop someone who is willing to die for what they believe. And that's a hard truth to accept, that there is no way for us to be as safe as we want to be. And that's been the case for a really, really long time now. The truth is, despite what it may seem like, we are safer today than we have ever been before. The threats are out there. They will always be out there. But what happens when we respond to these horrible acts with more horrible acts of our own is we perpetuate that cycle of violence. We continue to dehumanize people. We make it easier for the next round of any violence to be justified. And that's something I have kind of a problem with. I think that the only way we're going to become more safe and continue to be safe and continue to move forward in this world is to maintain a respect for life and for freedom and for humanity that our enemies, those who seek to do us harm, do not have. I'm not sure how utterly plausible that is. Human nature is emotional, and we have the ability to not follow those basic instincts of an eye for an eye, of utter destruction driven by our pain. And that's where I hope we go. I hope we embrace that ability to control ourselves, to pull back from giving in to the same thought patterns and emotions that fuel the terrorist attacks that we have seen and continue to see and continue to go on in places that you don't hear about unless you go looking for them. Things like this are a daily occurrence in some places. Hundreds of people, thousands of people, 
tens of thousands of people dying because other people don't have a respect for their lives. We're better than that. We can all be better than that. And the only way everyone's going to get better than that is if we don't step backwards. Be angry. Be upset. But don't use that as your drive for action. Be compassionate. Be appreciative. Be respectful. Understand that a reverence for life, secular, spiritual, religious, whatever your core for that is, a respect for life is the only thing that stops us from being so incredibly destructive all the time. That's it for today. For today. There's a lot more going on out there. Pay attention to it. Know that there is no guarantee of safety. There is no guarantee of longevity. So appreciate what you have now and appreciate what everyone around you has to offer. I'm Kier. That's it for today. I guess I'll see you tomorrow.